Oh, I was trimming the doors down using this blade that the machine came with and it's very very flexible I was only trimming you know like just a fraction off just the blades width off but it was drifting still feels quite sharp but not impressed with that so I've got a Freud blade yeah feels stiffer the ones in the other machines have lasted a long time but that one, I don't know, I only got it last year, no, it hasn't lasted that long, for the amount that I've used it anyway. I need to get these shells fixed in place. They're going to finish flush with this on. Quick so. This one's just going to go on the face like that. I want that edge to be very close to the edge of that. That edge close to the edge of that. Just overlapping, just enough to cover it. And with a quirk on here, so about there but I don't know what they built this out of whether it's timber or drywall metal drywall I don't know stud but I'm gonna put a 2 by one on there or 3b1 I think I've got some stuff I fix that on there first and then all I've got to do is pack pack the gap which will be about about six mil packer a 20 mil timber on there fixed to this maybe a bit of glue as well i can get several screws and see if i can get a good fix in same on here two by one on the wall here i need to get that exactly where it needs to go 70 mil 70 mil and then put that And I'll fix the timber plumb on the wall there. And that one, I plane both sides. So it just needs pinning on once it's all in place. Cut the length at the top. That cornice is going on there. A little bit turn on this end. Don't like that cornice. Don't think it's right. And then this one, I planed one edge. And it's wide enough for me to scribe it to the shape of the wall. The wall's not bad, but I need to just scribe it back a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do now. Screw some timber to there, screw some timber to there. Fix the shelf to that timber. Screw the timber. Screw up to fix the shelf down. some holes now. One at the front. It's got one at the back. From that and plumb up. Thank you. 
So that's going like that. I want it just to cover that joint. So about there, I've already got a pencil line there. I could set me my square to that, but I need it the other way so I can just get it in there like that. If I can show you up here, but I'm gonna oh, stay. But I'm gonna cut these pieces. Sorry, camera still on tripod. I'm gonna cut these pieces to that, and then. I'm going to cut these pieces to that length. I can use that to mark that one there, cut that one to length. This one just gets pinned straight on. That one I need to scribe to the wall. Can you see this inside wall? Six mil packer there. But I've got six, twelve, I think that's a three. So 15 mil up there. Right, this one, just put two pins in, it's not going to go that way and that's, that gap's about right, so it's parallel 
all the way down here. Just 10 mil, 10 mil forward. Oh, get me. So if I get me compass, set it to that. Plus, plus that gap there. I'll get me tape measure, but I want to set that. So, so it's that distance plus whatever I want to set back. And I'll keep my compass that way because that's the direction I'm I'm scribing into. You don't want to cock with your compass like that. I'll get this set up. Right, so. I need to cut that. Don't like this. That's why I need a pair of subscribers, proper pair of subscribers. Anyway, I shall be able to pop that off and I'll just whip that off with jigsaw. I need to cut it to length actually. I'm going to cut the line off, cut right down the middle of the line. So I don't mind if there's a little gap up there, that's what decorators for. Wobbled a bit there. Don't care. Oh, it's not bad. See, that's where I wobbled a little bit. I'll do. Give this edge a sand, sand the ice off. A bit like I've done this one. She wants everything quite square. smaller pins in this. It's 30 mil or something. I still don't like this gun. Alright, do that one. Cornice to go on. Like I said, I don't like cornice. I'll just stick a pin in just for now. Too small, I think. Right, so I've done that one. So 
Didn't need that one. Still don't like this corner. Let's see what they think when I get home. Right. Shelves to cut. I'm just going to cut them. But there's that socket, so do they want to go above or below? Don't matter about that. I've, got, I've ordered a vent cover to go on there. But I'm just going to make them. Put a hardwood lip on the front. Yeah, my breathing's knackered. And have a bit of a tidy up. Get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need anymore. So they don't see what a mess I've made of that boom. <laughs> 